I think we can all agree, used car prices are pretty insane right now, but none of them can hold a candle to the cars on this very list, all of which are just ordinary commuter cars and taken to the next level by their makers. Say a boring German sedan from the 80s that gets turned into a DTM legend, and the price? Well, it goes to the moon. What's up, beautiful people? Yes, it's your boy, Brad Danger, and don't forget to like, subscribe, buy a t-shirt, and stay tuned because, well, today we put together a list of expensive versions of very cheap cars. So, hope you've been saving your pennies and rubbing them together because the last car on this list is next level. So, buckle up and let's go. The first vehicle on our list comes from more than just humble beginnings, but has plenty of motorsport history behind it to make it an absolute legend. Anyone who loves WRC will be able to recognize this one, especially with its bright blue paint and gold wheels. The Subaru Impreza is every winter lover's wet dream. It's practical, has kick-ass all-wheel drive standard, and is reliable enough to last you through as many winters as you throw at it. Just watch out for that pesky head gasket. And the Impreza that makes our list is impressive because it comes straight from WRC and started a relationship with the man named Colin McRae. It's called the 22B and boy, oh boy, is it incredible. You see, the 22B STI was built to celebrate Subaru's 40th anniversary as well as its third consecutive World Rally Championship and have beautiful 17-inch BBS gold painted wheels. Other special features include unique body sculpting, pro suspension, and more power. You see, this little Subaru has everything a rally lover needs, but no one can really afford it. Recently, one example with just 25,000 miles on the clock sold for a measly $312,000, which is only about uh, 300K more than the standard one. So as you can tell, we are delivering. And our next car, it's an American legend. It's not a Mustang or a Camaro. And it's something from a little after the muscle car era. You know, when everybody was struggling to fight against rising gas prices. It put up a good fight, and now that fighting spirit is worth a pretty penny. And yes, Buick, it's not really a cool brand, or at least they aren't anymore. But back in the day, Buick had a little more street cred. Now, if you buy a Buick, you probably just put the ick in Buick. But let's time travel back to the 80s, and the Grand National is one reason why people love old Buicks. Now, the GNX is the specific model that has been selling for insane money now, and it's hard to see why it wouldn't. The Grand National Experimental, shortened to GNX, was built with the help from McLaren Performance Technologies, and they added that much needed oomph to the Grand National base model. The 3.8 liter V6 was equipped with a Garrett T3 turbocharger, larger intercooler, and low restriction exhaust to produce nearly 300 horsepower when new. This gave the GNX a fantastic quarter mile time of just 12.7 seconds at 113 one miles per hour. This is a seriously special and seriously fast Buick. One of only 547 examples that has only 8,000 miles on it was sold on Bring a Trailer for 205 thousand dollars and when you compare that to the standard grand nationals which normally go for about 50k that's a uh, one expensive old gm product but that x really takes it to the moon and the buick is an american muscle car that helped extend the muscle car era a little further into the history books now we're going to be looking at a car that helped one company propel its performance lineage into the future this is the homologation special that has the history to back up its insane asking prices. I think you, me, and your best friend all agree. We all love 3 Series. If your best friend doesn't agree with you, well then get a new best friend. I'm happy to be it, as long as you subscribe to Ideal Cars. And the 3 Series, it's a do-it-all sedan from BMW brand that has a model for everyone's needs and wants. You want a great commuter car that has a little sportiness to it? The base 3 Series is more than enough. Want something a tad bit sportier? <laughs> well then check out the M3. 
In fact, if you love the M3 as much as we do, check out this video up here where we talk through the entire history of the Bavarian legend. Now, the original M3 may have set the standard for the M series cars, but it was very different from the cars that derived from it. The E30 M3 was equipped with the 2.3 liter four cylinder and was originally only built as a homologation special so that, you know, BMW could compete against Mercedes in the touring car championships. This motorsports history and importance to the brand means that the E30 M3 asks a lot on the used market. The regular E30 3 Series cars can be found for less than 10K if you're lucky, but the M3 variants are just a tinny bit more expensive. One example with 8,000 miles went for 250 grand on Bring a Trailer. Again, we're looking at a car that normally can be found for cheap and then being sold for tens of times more just because of a trim change. It's so crazy how that all works. And now that we've looked at M3, it's time I think we introduced the car it competed with in the Tour Car Championships all those years ago. And Mercedes-Benz is very well known for their luxurious sedans and SUVs but they also have a huge impact on motorsports. In fact, in the 80s and 90s, they were the manufacturer to beat, all because of this guy, the 190E Evo 2. It's based off the regular 190E sedan and tuned specifically to compete in the touring car championships. And the Evo, it was something special. It came with a 2.5 liter four cylinder tuned by Cosworth, making 232 horsepower. This engine was mated to a dogleg five speed manual transmission. And what that all means is that first gear is up to the left and down, which lines up second gear and third. And you know, shifting is probably the biggest workout in every race and why I got such a big weird muscle right there. And this may take some time to get used to, but can really be the difference between second count. Now, there were only 502 models of the Evo 2 ever made, making it a fairly rare model to find. That, with the added lineage and motorsports, means that, well, like every other car on this list, it ain't cheap. An example with higher mileage, 95,000 sold for $251,000 on Bring a Trailer recently. And I don't know about you, but to me, that's a lot of money for a car from the 90s with nearly 100,000 miles on it. But just look at what you get. This is arguably one of the coolest Mercedes or just cars ever made. And now since we've looked at some seriously cool cars on this list so far, I think life is going pretty good. Until you remember there is that one guy, you know, that that weird one. This is it. Well, back in the early 2010s, Aston Martin was in a bit of a pickle. They had to lower their carbon output while maintaining their reputation as the one car company making big V8s and V12s in Grand Tours. So what did they do? They took a Toyota IQ and rebadged it with Aston Martin badges. Wait, that isn't what you were going to guess? It's called the Signet. And it was the Hail Mary from Aston to help them keep on the good side of environmentalists. The Signet isn't expensive on its own, only costing 40,000 pounds or about 55,000 in the US. But when you compare it to the IQ that it spawned from, it's an arm and a leg and more. The IQ only costs 15K new. This means you're just paying an extra 40 grand for what, fancier seats and an Aston Martin badge? Honestly, if you want a car with an Aston Martin badge on it for around 40 grand, then go buy a used Vantage. You don't need to watch any of the ideal car strategy videos to find that one out. But if you should plan on buying your dream cars and making money enjoying them, well then check out the ideal car strategies free webinar where I go over seven rookie mistakes that I see everybody make when they're trying to do that. And if it's something that you like, well then consider joining the paid curriculum. And I agree, no one really likes it when luxury brands rebrand something crappy to save face. Thankfully, we have one of the best front wheel drive cars ever made from one of the most humble car companies to save the day. The Type R moniker didn't start with the Integra, but it was one of the first models that regular car enthusiasts could afford. The NSX was the supercar for dream garages, while the Integra was the poor man's daily hero. The Type R was introduced into the US in 1997, and it was a track-focused car, and probably the best handling front-wheel drive vehicle of all time. And with 195 ponies, and an insane B-series engine that revved all the way to 8,400 RPMs, this thing was a screamer of a small commuter hatch from the 90s. Pat, could you try again? This was a screamer of a commuter small hatch from the 90s. Sorry, I'm still not 
not sure about that. Me neither. But really, you can thank the Integra Type R for really jump-starting the tuner boom in the late 90s and early 2000s. Used models with low mileage have been selling for absolutely mind-boggling numbers. Other Integras like the LS and GSR can be found for less than 10K all day on the used market. But the Type R? Well, one was sold for $82,000 on Bring a Trailer. And yes, that's not nearly as much as some of the other legendary cars on this list, but that's still a lot for a car that shares the same chassis as a daily beater. But what if you live in a region of the world that actually gets the white stuff, snow, but don't like the blue and gold? Well, maybe we have the perfect car for you. Different legendary all-wheel drive, rally-derived legend. The Lancer. It was Mitsubishi's flagship Econobox. It was boring, plasticky, and was purpose-built to get you to your job without breaking down and needing a lot of maintenance. It was inoffensive and totally forgettable. And it kind of reminded you that until Subaru started to take some names on the rally stages, that Mitsubishi finally shifted their tune a little bit and decided that their little economy car needed some much needed spice. They completely overhauled their economy car and added better suspension, threw in that legendary 4G63 turbo, created a super car slayer. There have been many changes along the development of the Evo model, but after 10 generations of the Evo, it finally met its demise. There's just so much history in the Evo name that the residual value has built up to insane numbers. In 2017, an Evo 9 sold for more than $130,000 at auction, and that's way more than what the Lancer would ever fetch on the used market. And don't think you're in the clear with any other Evo model. All other classic models will cost you around the same. You might save some money going for an Evo 10, but they just don't hold the same cool factor as the classic ones. So, if you got some spare change and need the active all-wheel drive and other rally-inspired upgrades, then start looking for one of the many Evo models on the used market and let the Subaru hunting begin. Okay, so we've explored several different cars on this list, but we're going to finish off on a well-respected classic. And this one, <laughs> it's incredible. So we're at the end and it's Honda to the bitter end. Well, not the bitter end because this last car is pretty damn sweet. The Civic, being the legend that it is, has its fair share of special editions. And for the performance-oriented variants, the Type R is the king of all. One of the Type R special editions in particular sold for some serious coin at auction. The Civic Type R Mugen RR. Just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? And the Type R in question is finished in exclusive Milano red paint and has special Recaro SPX racing seats and has had its weight reduced with special carbon fiber parts. The two liter engine has also been uptuned to 237 horses, making the already hot hatch just a little bit hotter. This particular example was kept garage fresh and sold for $130,000. So there's our list of insanely expensive versions of cheap cars. Are there any other cars that you can think of any special editions you think would cost more than what we have listed? Well, let us know in the comments below. I'll be hanging out there. I'd love to see what you guys have to say and see if the timing's right for you to join the Ideal Fam. We hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button if you're new, turn on that notification bell, hit the like button, let us know that you actually enjoyed this video so we make more like it. And promise me one thing, say it with me. Keep living the Ideal Lifestyle.